In Resident Evil 2, the moment we are introduced to Police Chief Brian Irons, we see that a young woman's lifeless body is lying on his desk. He informs us that it's the mayor's daughter and he was supposed to look after her, but he failed. And now he's just waiting till she becomes another zombie so he can put a bullet to her head. But let's take a look at the very last moments of the mayor's daughter before meeting her demise. In the manhu of Resident Evil 2, we actually find out what her name is, and she is known as Amy Chan. Here we see that Brian Irons is in his office with Amy Chan, but he's speaking with an umbrella soldier through a hologram. After he ends the call, Amy asks him what's going on. He tells her that the mayor has changed. There are zombies, but it's useless to scare him. He then follows up by asking her to come with him. She isn't sure how to react and doesn't know whether to trust him. But he then insists that she follows him, revealing that he's holding a gun. They go into his taxidermy display room and he begins to give her a tour of his personal taxidermy collection. Amy starts feeling even more nervous once they enter the room and see the tiger displayed in front of them. Brian Iron says, look at this big tiger, more prestige. I am from Bangladesh, I smuggled it to the United States. This doesn't help her situation seeing that the police chief himself has illegally smuggled a tiger into the US. He continues the tour, showing her more of his personal collection of antiques that are even worth millions. But Amy Chan has no idea why he is doing this. It's abnormal considering the viral outbreak that's occurring in Raccoon City, but it doesn't look like it's even affected Brian Irons. As he proceeds with his tour behaving very enthusiastic over his collection, mentioning just how beautiful each and every one of them are, this begins to creep Amy out, and she is now very unsure about being alone with the police chief, or in the Manhua's case, the police commissioner. Amy asks him, what do you want? He grabs onto the pike from a medieval suit of armor and replies, Don't resist. I don't want to destroy that perfect body. This is when Amy Chan screams in terror and both Leon and Claire heard her and quickly rushed towards the taxidermy room. We then see that Brian Irons is met by one of the Umbrella soldiers who lets him know that Leon and Claire are headed their way. Brian Irons prepares to cover his tracks and make it look like he's innocent. And this is a moment both Leon and Claire enter the room. In the game, this is the moment when Claire alone enters the room. But in the manhua, Leon and Claire get to the police station together. And they stick together till the moment they find Brian Irons. If you'd like to know more on what happens after this particular moment in the manhua, then be sure to check out the video of Leon vs. The Deadliest Liquor Part 2. It continues on after Leon and Claire's interaction with Brian Irons. It's a shame that Amy Chan did not have a chance to escape after Brian Irons grabbed onto the pike from the suit of armor, but seeing as the umbrella operative was on the other side of the taxidermy room meant that she wouldn't have a chance to escape at all, even if Leon and Claire were in the same building, not too far ahead from her location. Maybe we'll get a little more character development come from Amy Chan, the mayor's daughter in the Resident Evil 2 remake, but one thing for sure, is that the character is destined to become a victim of Brian Irons, who would have also turned her into another one of his taxidermy collections if Leon and Claire had not interfered with his plans. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, be sure to leave a like, share with others and subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd like to see some extra content or you'd like to see your name at the end of the videos, then feel free to support the channel by donating a single dollar to my Patreon. There are also additional perks for donating more than a buck. The link is on the description along with the link to my Facebook page, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Twitter. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.